Hiya again folks, welcome back to my channel and in this video I'm still in Kirk Oswald in Ayrshire and I'm actually going to go and try and find a place called Sutter Johnny's Cottage which has connections as the name suggests to Robert Burns and so I'm going to, I think it's on the main road somewhere so I've just parked up and I'm going to head along and try and find it and hopefully you all enjoy the video and if you do, please click on the subscriber button, please click on the notification bell, leave some likes, leave some comments, and I hope you all enjoy what you see. So I'm going to stop jabbering on now, and I'm going to head around and try to find out the cottage before this rain gets any heavier. So I'll see you in a minute. Yeah, they've even got a Sutter's Inn. That's also named after the cottage. Yeah, so that's quite an interesting fact. Oh, Robert Burns actually went to a school just across the road where the Sutter's Inn stands now. So if you go to the Sutter's Inn and you have something to eat and something to drink, you're actually eating and drinking where Robert Burns went to school. This is Sutter Johnny's cottage. So I think Johnny Davidson was essentially Sutter Johnny. Garden. So that's the pathway back to the, the main road. <laughs> yeah, makes a change, doesn't it? And uh, the wifey in the, the cottage. So that's the back there. As it was saying that the land from the cottage all the way up to the river, so it's up that way, is was owned by the guy, the sort of Johnny, who owned the cottage, and it's still owned by National Trust, but allowing the other houses nearby to actually use the land. These are all statues that were carved, I think, back in the 1800s. And they're 
all based on characters from Barnes's poems. <coughs> so we've got the innkeeper, Sam Shanta, Sutter Johnny, and the innkeeper's wife. Mm -hmm. Some information about the statue. Because a bit like, I think, a bit like at the Burns Cottage in Alloway. They're having problems with the thatch in the cottage. So they're just raising money for that. So I think with the Burns Cottage now, they've actually managed to fix it. This is the the old graveyard for the the old Kirk in Kirk Oswald. So it's got a wee kind of plan that Bond's grandparents are buried here. This is where the guy who was the basis for Tamashanta was buried, and the guy who. So Sir Johnny was based on, who's buried here as well. And it's also got a connection to Robert the Bruce. I'll show you that in a minute. And it's also got a Commonwealth war grave. I'm just gonna go down and see that. Sorry. The Kirk itself. And apparently, this was uh, built by the monks from Crossfield Abbey. It was to replace a, a shrine to St. Oswald. And it has some quite interesting gravestones. Like this one here, it looks, it looks like a, a trunk of a tree. And uh, remember Maury's as well. I'm not too sure, I don't think I'm going to be able to actually get into the body of the Kirk itself. But as mentioned before I came in, that this place has got a connection to Robert the Bruce. And that font there, it's a baptismal font, it's said to have come from Crossrogul Abbey. And it's said to be in the font in which Robert the Bruce was baptised at. So he's, he's been baptised from this font when it was still at Crossrogul. Interesting connection. Well, I've taken a wee wander up the hill. Cause just above the town of Kirk Oswald is the present day parish church and I was told by 
the woman down at Sister Johnny's Cottage that the kirk itself is a Robert Adams design. So Sir Robert Adams is quite another famous architect in Scotland. Uh, a lot of these films are are still standing. And so I, was, I thought I'd decide to have we wander up here and let you have a look. Um, so I'm just at the building itself just now, so I'm going to turn the camera around and let you have a look. So this is the church here. Okay, move back a wee bit to get let you get a better view. So the Kennedy family, and who also owned uh, the New York Castle, owned a lot of land in this area as well. I think it was uh, one of the earls that. Or one of the Kennedys that had this church built. It is a very, very pretty wee kirk. So that's uh, the village down there. You can probably just see the old kirkyard down just through the trees. And that's Sutter's Inn, just down there. So it's just on the, the hill above the town. Oh, well, that's me just finished my wee wander around uh, Kirk Oswald. Definitely a really beautiful wee place. And definitely worth a visit if you're interested in Robert Burns and his poetry and songs. And if you want to see uh, kind of at least one of the places that inspired some of his work. And yeah, when the weather's like this, this is brilliant. But we did have a bit of a shower earlier on. <laughs> and yeah, so definitely recommend kind of coming down and exploring Kirk Oswald and this part of, of Ayrshire. Kind of Burns country is definitely worth coming down and spend some time in. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye.